Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of September 23rd, 2020. I'm one of your hosts, of course, Elijah, sitting digitally with me today, as always. Alex, oh God, okay, you that's enough of that. Okay, that reminds me of one drake bell from drake and josh when he did that he's like you want to see what i can do and he did that really fast and he was smacking oh. his wrist yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like really fast yeah you gotta do it really fast and you gotta do a lot of finger movement i think no no thanks and drake and josh, I was, fantastic no. show back in uh when i was oh, for sure. i love that sure. show i um i was uh, called josh peck a lot in high school. Mm. headaches you give me headaches that's a good that's a good line that's a good line of course mm-hmm. my one mm-hmm. of my favorite ones is uh it's a meme now, which is hilarious. But one of my okay. favorite ones was the when they're building the treehouse and they bring mm-hmm. it up, and he's like, "Drake, where's the door? <laughs> where's the door?" <laughs> and now it's a meme, and it's the best ever. He's like, well, "What's right here?" And just it, grab it. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> yeah, it's just drawn on. Perfect. I love the show. Oh, yeah, that's no, a awesome. stupid show. Uh, of course, this is not a Drake and Josh podcast, although I ideas, mean, we can make it happen. We can definitely make that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, this is the Shiver's Game Podcast. We'll come to you every single Friday, bringing you all the news that we think you know. Now, you can, of course, support us a number of ways. There are free ways, like, of course, liking and subscribing to this here YouTube page, and, of course, hitting that notification bell. You help us with that algorithm that Google likes to make for everything to make sure to see if you live or die. Now, you want to skip all the algorithm no. stuff. And, of course, podcast service five-star review but if you want to skip all the free stuff you can of course head over we'll open the door for you patreon.com slash easy achievers you give us a dollar there that gives you a bunch of different tiers and perks go look at there for more information but the most popular one of course dollar tier lets you dm us you get to slide into our dms Mm, only pennies a day a dollar a month you get to contribute to the show you can of course leave a question comment concern thought and or some sort of bad idea that you have for the show and we read it aloud here. Now, Alex, we have quite the news week today. Mm-hmm. I don't think... You know what? No, mm-hmm. I do have a question for you. Okay. I ask this question every single week. What have you been playing? Mm. So, we fin- I've, I've finished. You finished? Like, like, two games. You did. I finished Deathloop. Yeah, I did too. Mm-hmm. Boiler cast coming soon. Technically, three games I've beaten. Okay. Um, I went back on the backlog. You did, and I went and back and played Doom Eternal. Yes, I beat that. Oh my god! And I just recently played Super Liminal because that was out for a while for some reason. Yeah. Or it had just gone on Game Pass, and I beat that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What'd you think of Doom Eternal? That would be a quick one, it, I think. It was. It was really good. When I first played it, I think I was just doomed out because yeah. I played yeah, the first one right off the bat. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was, but it was really good. It was easy, mm-hmm. uh, like fast. I can't wait to talk about Deathloop with you. Of course, this our major thoughts will be on the spoiler cast we eventually do. But I did mm-hmm. enjoy my time with that game. I think I enjoyed it. It's funny. I, I think I enjoyed it more than some people, but less than a lot of people. If that makes sense. Oh, for sure. There are well, a lot yeah. of tens for this game. I don't think it's a ten, although it is a very good game. Is a I, I yeah. would say even a great game. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say it's a ten, but eh, it doesn't really matter. For the honest, amount of but... advertising it gave it, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, I did beat it. Well, what's funny is I was I wanted to not like the game. This is one of those mm. games where you kind of subconsciously do it. I don't I don't walk into it being no, like, for sure. I can't wait to hate this game. I didn't do that, <laughs> but I kind of was. I was like, definitely... I, I'm expecting to just be like playing this for an hour, and I'm like, I'm done. But I, no, I was I de- de- it, yeah. they got me. I was definitely expecting to walk and be like, oh, what are you gonna do? What, like, what is this game? Am I gonna care? And then. I would say about three hours in, like you get really sucked into the plot. It, when you do, when you finish the beginning stuff and you can actually mm-hmm. do missions, that's when it's really fun. All the beginning stuff is, yeah, I didn't really like that. And the tutorials yeah. were kind of boring, but mm-hmm. it gets really good. Uh, it's just a must buy for the achievers. Now, of course, fifty nine ninety nine um, US. Of course, much more expensive everywhere else. But do you recommend it for the cost? I'll go first. If you're an arcane mm. fan, if yeah, Dishonored, it's must buy for sure. If mm. a if a loop inspire, if hmm, 
Well, it was weirdly, wasn't it on sale even like the week of release? That's it with PlayStation. Yeah, for PlayStation Plus members, it was like fifty three instead of fifty nine. I think I think they do that with any. Well, I don't know. I think there was a special deal or something. For fifty bucks, yes. For sixty, eh. Sixty, you make sure you're a fan. Fifty must buy. Yeah. Anything lower than that. Come on. And people, and I mean, I'm sure it. people are going to be like, really? $10, that's a difference? Yes, $10 uh, is a difference. Yeah, $10 is a big difference. Big yes. difference. Big difference. Now, like, you pick up $10 off the street, so, like, let's not act like $10 isn't, you know. Right. Okay, anyways. Um, I have also finished that loop. We'll talk about more about it later. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much. Um, more Destiny, really. Uh, I started Sable, which is an interesting okay. game coming from um, uh, Game Pass as well. Very cool mm. so far, although the frame Uh-oh. rate is a little unfortunate. Um, it looks like it is even lower than 30 frames. Maybe Ooh. I'm spoiled and it's not or something, but mm. may, or maybe it's the game flow or the style of the game, but it literally, like saying, when I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, I hate this so much. Do you think it has to, it's trying to be like um, into the Spider Verse? You know how it's like, you know how like it's kind of framey? Yeah, like yeah, it's it's purposely framey. I, yeah. I was actually thinking that part way through. I'm like, is this intentional? And I have to assume no. Mm. But achievers, let me know in the comments below if I'm incorrect, please. Um, and I'll correct it next week. But as far as I understand, I don't think it's intentional, although I did not research it prior because I literally played it maybe an hour ago. So mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't play much of it and I didn't spend much time with the game. But so far All right, so the actual game is good, but frames are a bit rough. So apparently there's a way to how to increase the the, the frame rate. Oh. Uh it says when you start off Sable's gliding adventure, you're likely to notice that the frame rate is pretty slow and stuttery. That's yes, because for is. whatever reason, the game's default frame rate is set to 30 fps but today's standards is pretty low and then there's a at here on twinfinite it actually tells you what to do oh cool i'll um, check that uh, out let me make sure because it's i'm making yeah, sure that not. this is not for uh just pc i assume it's just for pc but it's, uh, yeah it's not important we can talk about it later um yeah. but yeah that that's what i played Deathloop really destiny really sable for <clears> a couple few seconds um i've gone back to ghost shima try to finish that dlc out um that's really it. Alex, is that your final what you've been playing? Uh, Yes. Alex, we had a Nintendo Direct today. Mm-hmm. I did not watch it. Did you? Nope. I didn't either. I, I wanted busy. to cover it with the Achievers today, uh, not only to get a more fresh perspective, but also I wasn't feeling it. Didn't I didn't think I didn't yeah. think Nintendo was gonna bring something that I'd be like, oh my god, really? I like reacting alongside the Achievers rather than um just. Uh, watching it later and then coming to do it uh i feel like Mm -hmm. if i'm gonna watch something i might as well watch it with you guys but that's beside the point i'm rambling um but we're gonna talk about a bunch of things that were announced um again i i I couldn't care to watch it so these are all gonna be bricked out from things that i found online and i did scrub through roughly the direct just to have an idea of what some of these games are um first of course uh, we have the nintendo 64 online service is coming they're actually getting nintendo 64 games um, yeah. Yes. So it's called an exp- um uh it's not apparently a part of the, the membership? baseline Nintendo Switch online service. Okay. It's an expansion pack you'll have to pay extra for. Um they didn't say how much any of this was, oh, but God. I guess you're going to have to pay a- an additional fee on top of the online service. To be fair. So the online service for Switch not a lot. Not a lot at all. Twenty dollars a month. Thirty five dollars for a family 20, membership. It's twenty a year, not a month. Did I say a month? I apologize. I yes. meant a year. Twenty and a three, year. Yeah. And then thirty five for... for a family membership up to six people, I believe. Yes. Maybe eight. But anyways. I think it's um, six because so, yeah, we def- we do it. So <laughs> Yeah, so I will go with um I will start with the sixty four games and then we're gonna get to the second Genesis games that were announced as well. So for sixty four we have Super Mario sixty four and Mario Kart sixty four, Star Fox sixty four, Yoshi Story, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Mario Tennis, Doctor Mario sixty four, Sin and Punishment, and Wind Back. Those are all of your Nintendo sixty four games coming at launch at the uh Nintendo sixty four expansion pack is what it's called okay uh very cool very cool i'm very excited to get ocarina of time to be able to play on the switch although it's criminal that they haven't launched it already and um, because i don't think i've ever finished ocarina of time 
It's very good, although mm. it is uh, slightly dated in some aspects, but it's very good. I think mm. you should try at least try it, although yeah. I don't think you'll play it. Um, yeah. And then let's get to the Sega Genesis games. So, uh, this actually got me a little happy because it's kind of cool to see Sega Genesis games on here, um, especially mm-hmm. in the retro format that they have it here. Uh, so, mm-hmm. for the Genesis, we have Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore, uh, Core, uh, Core, like, you know, C-O-R-P-S, uh, yeah, Dr. Yeah. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which sounds very sexual, Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, Gu- oh, Golden Axe, oh my god, me and my dad play that all the time, I can't wait to play that with him again, Gu- Gunstar Heroes, Musha, Fantasy Star 4, Restar, Shining Force, another game we played a lot, Shinobi 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage, and Strider. Mm-hmm. Again, another thing will you have to buy on top of the membership, just... So, you know, very cool. I love that. Uh, first off, Nintendo's finally adding something to this. I feel like it has been way too long and they should have already mm-hmm. done this, but hey, they're doing it now, so I can't be too upset. Are you going to get the controller that they announced? Thank you for the segue, Alex. They did also announce the Nintendo 64 controller for the Nintendo Switch and also a Sega Genesis control pad, both forty nine ninety nine dollars each. No, these are terrible controllers and I don't like them. Uh, they're you don't old like for the a reason. Three handles and uh, no, no, I'm not a alien man from the planet Gorbnog, so I don't have three hands. What is that from? I know that I made all of that up. If I didn't, I apologize. I thought I did, <laughs> hmm. but a uh, Sega Genesis uh, control pad, although very nostalgic, and I know my father will immediately buy both of these. I will not be. Hmm. I know you don't care about these controllers, so I'm not going to ask you that question. I I thought about the N64 one, but really? no. It, I would love it just to say I have a sealed N64 controller. You mm-hmm. know, not, duh. But it's not an actual one, but I'm saying, like, you get to say you have one that's in a box, which is kind of Is cool. it bad that oh, I just God. want to buy it just because I want to display it on the wall? Like yeah, no, it, for like sure. Hung? Yeah, so yeah. I like, I would... I like one Emmett Watkins Jr. Oh, he does he his does. with his PlayStation yes. ones and he hangs it. I want to do that with retro controllers. I would love to have history, history of controller wall. Yes. So yeah, I would like love to have the original Xbox uh-huh. like going up the line. on a wall mm-hmm. lined up history of controllers. I'd love that that's so what much. I want. That's what I want to do. That's why I thought about doing it. But I was like, mm. that's why I want to do the wireless ones instead of doing the original. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, of course, you can cut the cable, but I mean. Now, Alex, I, I would ask them. you to please not read the next uh, lines of this doc. I okay. want you to close your eyes and oh, picture God. this, what I'm about to tell you. Alex, do you know the casting of the Mario movie? Exactly. Okay, so there is a Mario animated movie coming out, and we got casting information during this Nintendo Direct, okay? I'm going to hit you with who is Mario, all right? You ready? Okay. Okay. You know what? No. I just thought of something much better. You have two guesses. Who is playing Mario in the animated film Mario? Try not to take too long. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Mario, like like an animated Mario? Mario? Uh, animated Mario who's being his voice on the, the new upcoming Mario movie. I give Ow. you two guesses. Mark Wahlberg? Nope. Not <sighs> far off. You're not far off. Really? No, you're not. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anybody else. Chris Pratt is being Mario. Yeah, exactly. Chris <laughs> Pratt is being Mario. I know. I don't know if you know this person, so I'm not going to make you guess them. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy is Peach. Hmm. You would probably recognize her as soon as you uh, look her up. Um, I don't think you know this gentleman either. Charlie Day oh, is I know Luigi. Her. Charlie Day is Luigi from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is hilarious. And then, Alex, can you guess who Bowser is? I give you two guesses. I'll I'll give you a hint. Oh, my God. I'll give you a hint. He may have been uh, in a camp that specializes in rock and roll. Oh, my God. Are you serious? (laughs) Who is it, Alex? (laughs) My boy, Jack Black. (laughs) Yes, it is. Jack Mack is Bowser. Oh what? Is he gonna sing? Is he gonna have a monologue? You know he has to sing. You know he has to sing. He's just gonna be rocking. I knew, He's by the way, I knew you would get that reference as soon as I said. Oh, I love Jack Black. He's like probably like one of my favorite actors. Uh, and then Keegan Michael Keel is Toad. 
Oh, really? What? Keegan? Yes. He's like such a talented actor and he's Toad. Oh, my God. This movie's going to be insane. And then um, I won't make you guess this one because you probably don't. Uh, I, I don't I don't know a good way because I don't know what movie you'd see him in. But Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then, I mean, I've seen a lot of movies with him. Knocked up, uh, Pineapple Express. Oh, I could have said Pineapple Express. Ah, that's a that's a miss for me. Um, and then Zenday is Michi. I don't even know who that is, but that's who she is. Um, that's hilarious. Hmm. Uh, and then <laughs> for some reason they brought up Mario's regular voice actor Charles Magnette. Um, mm-hmm. will lend his voice in the film, but it's going to be a cameo. I don't know why he isn't just Mario. But Ouch. <laughs> he, he, so it's pretty rough. Um, that's pretty rough. Although maybe the cameo's cool. Uh, Alex, uh, you know Hollywood better than I do. What's up with this cast? This is a weird cast, right? Like this isn't real. This doesn't can, seem real. So, this seems so like can, a joke. So I can see, I can see Chris Pat. No, you and can't. Jack Black. Well, no, I'm saying the reason <laughs> know, the, know, re, the reason they picked them because yeah, they've been course. in a lot of stuff. They're like huge. Like Jack Black These are Pat. huge celebrities. This this has way too many people in it. Um, sorry, achievers. I'm still recording, although we may have lost Alex for a quick second. Right We're coming right back. There we go. We're already back. We're already back it, in like, action. I was talking, and I don't know where it just disconnected. I don't. Yeah, I looked in, a, in, and it just blacked out. So I'm like, okay, cool. But everyone's back. Everything's cool. still holding together. But, uh, yeah, so these are huge stars. So mm-hmm. I, I'm not confused why they picked them, although these people don't seem particularly right for the role, although I could see a more campy take on Mario, even more mm-hmm. campy than we've seen before. So I think yeah. we're all making jokes now, but, like, it, 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 it's going to be huge. So I'm glad it's not a live action. Because oh, yeah. these people yeah, definitely don't. do not fit no, the no, ball. No, no. I, I think that would be an even better movie. If this had to be live action and Charlie Day is Luigi, <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my well, god! It's it's not far off because Charlie Day, if you give him a, just a mustache instead of the beard that he usually does, he he could pull it off because he has kind of like he that could. look. He could. Chris Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt could not no. put it off Mario unless he has to put on. A... I think I think Jack Black would have been a better Mario. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> The next game, ah. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, was revealed. It was unfortunately leaked hours before by Nintendo accidentally. Um, so that's unfortunate for them. But there is a new Kirby game, and it is called The Forgotten Land. Um, you need Kirby or Ride back, all right? I'm done with this. I, I, I looked at it. It looks kind of cool, although it, very, it does look very dystopian, which is hilarious because you have Kirby walking around in this kind of <laughs> weird oh, environment. Nice um look it up if you want to see it's hilarious yeah that's um, what i'm looking oh so it's a, like a you can actually like f- run around wherever you want like it's open looks like open-ish. I, I don't I, we didn't see much yeah of it. it's like um, it's not it doesn't look like it's like a side scroller no it it's definitely like it's, not a side scroller interesting wow. i don't think it is anyways no no um, it's not and then a quick look at the splatoon 3 multiplayer and a new single player mode um of course they're having a single player story this time and the splatoon 3 multiplayer showed off some guns and you know what you would expect from a splatoon no, um, me and Alex, not Splatoon guys. Yeah. Bayonetta three, very exciting, is coming. Um, they did say twenty twenty two. We did get a quick look at that wow. incredible gameplay. Oh my god, I can't wait for this video game. Um, they uh, Nintendo did briefly bring up Animal Crossing. It will have its own direct in October, and it will reveal um the game's November update. Um, and uh, and it will also bring back the Roost and Brewster. My wife was very excited about these two people. I asked her why. She said the Brewster was a bartender and the Roost was in a cafe. So, get excited. I guess. So, Brewster, the Roost bar- bird bartender is coming back. So, there's a bartender now. So, interesting. All right. Yeah, so I, I assume he's actually managing the drinks. And yeah, then the so. Yeah, and then the Roost... Well, Brewster is the bird. The right. Roost Sorry. Is the cafe. I'm getting two things mixed up. Brewster is the is, is the, the roost bartender. The, yes. The roost is the cafe. Sorry. Yes. My wife explained that very specifically, and I still messed it up. Um. So there's that, and then Castlevania Advanced Collection. Oh my God! Finally, is coming. It's been rumored for months, and we're finally getting this game um it brings um four games to play of course this is coming to playstation xbox pc and switch um it includes circle of moon 
um, Array of, of Sorrow, Harmony of Dissonance, and uh, Castlevania Dracula X. But surprise, as of right now, as of recording, it should be available. Yes, it is available right now. So if you go to your eShop, you should be able to download it. PlayStation, you should be able to download it. As of recording, I tried to download it on Xbox. I can't find it for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm very frustrated. I wanted to buy it. It's only like 20 bucks. Very yeah, frustrated. Man called me and be like, why can't I do this? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> do, do what? <laughs> <laughs> I have no context of what you're talking to me about. <laughs> Monster on a Rise is getting a paid expansion called Sunbreak this summer. Mario Party Superstar has got a spotlight showing off some uh, new stuff. Cool. Uh, hmm. Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars is a card-based RPG kind of looking thing. Comes out October 28th. Disco Elysium, which is an incredibly popular game, is called uh, uh, The Final Cut. It's coming to Switch October 12th. Um, and is coming physically next year. Next wave of the Age of Calamity DLC is coming October 29th for um, Hyrule Warriors, of course. Chocobo. <laughs> Chocobo GP is a Final Fantasy racing game featuring 64 player tournaments coming to Switch next My year. God. Sure. 64 Chocobos running around and running. It sounds each other. hilarious. Uh, yeah. Super, Smart, uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate's final character Ooh, is going to be gonna revealed be? October 5th. That is very sad, but very, very exciting that we're getting. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, Koopa Troopa and Ninji coming to Mario Golf Super Rush. Get excited, I guess. Um, Digiting Digital Magical World 2 Enhanced Edition is coming to Switch. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic launches on Switch November 11th. Dying Like 2 Stay Human is getting a Cloud Edition on Switch. Dying Like Platinum is coming to Switch, um, and that comes October 19th. Um, Triangle Strategy is launching March 4th. Metroid Dread a got a new trailer. What? Wait, the the ladder is available. What does that mean? Like, because the game's not out till February. Dying Light Platinum Edition is coming to Switch. That comes out October nineteenth. So, so that oh oh I see it. I yeah, see it. Sorry. yeah yeah the ladder First means game. the the last thing said. Um, got it got it got the it. The Shadow and Trilogy is coming to Switch in twenty twenty two. Act Razor Re- uh, Renaissance and <laughs> a remaster of the SNES game. Act Razor launched today. Wild stuff. My dad played that all the time, and I cannot believe that game is getting re released. Oh, wow. I have to shoot him a text. Um, if you want to, if that's an old game, it's old. Yes, Alex, you're looking at it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's an SNES game. It, yeah, I, 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 I have to remember that's to text nuts. him after this. Uh, Delta Rune Chapter Two is available now. That was quickly brought up. Uh, One thing, man, they had some good ass cover arts back then. Yes, they did. Very good cover art back then. Oh, uh, very quickly, Alex. Um, mm. Just direct on paper looks really good to me. Again, I didn't watch it because uh, again, too busy. But no, for sure. Yeah, but what did you? What do you think of, of at least on paper of this direct? Very quickly. Eh, some people are gonna be happy about it. Cool. Yeah, this is one of those mm. things where I'm like, yeah, a lot of people, very specific people, are very happy. <laughs> I'm, mm-hmm. I am in, in one of those people where I'm like, yeah, that was fine. I'm kind of yeah. glad I didn't watch it because like a lot of this I don't care about, but. There was a lot I did care about, which is what matters. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is a very quick one. This is an update to the uh, Blizzard Activision situation. The actual SEC is now going after um, uh, oh the Bl- Blizzard and Activision and has subpoenaed Bobby Kotick. So this is very serious. That means the federal government is now going after them. Um, wow. Good luck, buddy. Uh, bye, bye, we, ha- yes. we have a rumor roundup for you. Very quickly... Um, we're going to go over, this is actually a really, really good article from windows central. Um, I want to give them full credit on this. This is by the, uh, beautiful. Sorry. Where where, (laughs) Jez Corden. Thank you. Jesus. Sorry about that. Um, we have a couple. So we had that. Everyone's heard about it by now. The G force leak, right? Mm-hmm. It was a giant list of games that got leaked through the GeForce Now um, back end, and they just released all of them. There was a bunch of crazy stuff. Now, for the Xbox side of things, I think this is where it gets very interesting, and Windows Central brings up a lot of stuff that I didn't know about. So one of the things in this uh, kind of almost dossier-like um, thing is called Project Indus, this is by Oxidized Games. So, um, again, this is all from this great article. Please go give it a click. Uh, quote, I first read, or sorry, I first heard about Indus back in spring 2021. 
Although was only able to confirm that the project is definitely going ahead thanks to the GeForce leak, uh, Project Indus is a 4X strategy game being developed by Oxidize Games, known for its r uh, work on real-time strategy games, Ashes of the Singularity. Although Indus' un uh, unique hook remains to be seen, the gameplay sounds very similar to what you may experience in Civilization. And then this is what I'm most excited about, is in what is in Exile working on. So Project Cobalt is an in Exile game. Um... Uh, so we still don't know it's an FPS RPG. What we do know is that it's codenamed Cobalt. It's believed to have a steampunk style inspired by Industrial Revolution inspired tech. Expect steam engines, Zeppelins, retro futuristic kind of robots, dark uh, Victorian era streets, and more. Um, and then there was some cover art, or sorry, some concept art that's in this article. If you want to go look at it, it looks very cool. It looks very, very steampunkish. Very nice. Cannot wait for this. Um, game is targeting a 2023 release. <laughs> Very cool article. I love when people get a little, a little talky. I like that. Now, mm -hmm. sticking on that GeForce leak, I want to read to you the achievers this insane, <laughs> insane leak uh, list. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna name every single game. Then I'm gonna give you the reasoning. Some of these are in there, and then I'm gonna find what's interesting on some of these. All right, Alex, you ready for this? So mm -hmm. this is the unannounced games. That were spotted or referenced, and this is all cataloged on Reddit. So starting from the top, Chrono Cross Remastered, Final Fantasy Tactics Remastered, Final Fantasy IX Remake, uh, Kingdom Hearts 4, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Street Fighter 6, Dragon's Dogma 2, Monster oh, Hunter 6, Grand Theft Auto Remasters, Bioshock 2022, Mirror's Edge Remaster, Untitled Respawn Game, Titanfall 3, Tekken 8, the Talos Principle 2, Crisis 4, Batman Arkham Knight Remastered, XCOM 3, Injustice 3 Gods Will Fall, Destroy All Humans 3, Sniper Elite 5, City Skylines 2, Fight for Middle Earth, Mortal Kombat 12, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Remastered, Helldivers 2. Alex, this is all the unannounced games that aren't ports. We're going to get the ports later. I do want to very quickly go over this list. Now... GeForce did, of course, come out and said not all of these are actual games. Uh, some of them are used for internal testing and uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's very easy to figure out what are real, and there's probably a middle ground of, eh, that might be real. Um, so, well, for instance, because, so like, for, for so instance, really quick before you, go, before you go, okay. Alex. For instance, Bioshock 2022, most likely is a placeholder, meaning we know mm -hmm. there's a Bioshock game, so this isn't really anything substantive, and it makes sense why it's in here, is a placeholder mm -hmm. for something they know will eventually come out, so they have something ready. Sorry for uh, interrupting you, Alex. Go ahead. No, you're fine. I was going to say, it's just, it's weird because you want to feel like a bunch of these are real. Yes. Because, like, even the randomness on this list, out of all these games, and then you get, not saying it's a bad game, but Hell Divers 2. Mm -hmm. it's, it, is, it is a little random. And a little um, random, especially like with Hell Divers too. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, Hell Divers was um, oh Jesus, why am I blanking on their name? Returnal, Housemark, Jesus, I'm pretty sure Housemark made that game. Um, can you please look that up for me, Alex? Uh, Hell so Divers was publisher Sony developer Arrowhead. Arrowhead, sorry, oh that is a grave um, misunderstanding for me. Apologies. Uh, so they, Arrowhead yeah, made that game. Did some so magic, I uh, gauntlet and all wouldn't stuff. be shocked if that's real. Although I don't it's know how well Hell Divers said. I don't know how well Hell Divers sold. Um, I don't know if it sold well enough for um, a thing. And I know Sony has that IP, so Sony would have to be publishing that and making it. And it'd be interesting that P it would come to PC at all, unless they for some reason didn't hold on to that IP, which is not Sony's MO. They if they're going to help make a game, they're keeping the IP. So. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of these things where it's like clearly Chrono Cross Remaster. I don't believe that's real. Final Fantasy Tactics mm -hmm. Remaster. Don't believe that's real. Final Fantasy IX Remake. Don't believe that's real. Kingdom Hearts 4. Don't, I, this is all being said with I don't believe it's real, although I'm not saying it, it's not going to exist. It could be like a placeholder for sure. Yeah, Kingdom but Hearts like 4, example, like, I'm really sure is Dragon there for Fogma fun. 2, there's no way there's going to be a second one for that. Yeah, Dragon's Fogma 2. It said it's rumored. I don't know if I believe that. May maybe. 
I haven't heard anyone substantially say something, although if I've missed something, achievers, leave us in the comments. Um, Mirror's Edge remaster? No. But Mirror's Edge is dead. We're never seeing another Mirror's Edge anything. Um, I can, I, 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 it is dead, but I feel like I could see a remaster. Maybe. EA did say I they want to remaster like the games, it. but it's just, really? I, Mirror's Edge? I feel, like, I feel like I can see that. Mirror's Edge, though? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Grand Theft Auto I remasters mean, we know are real. Or, sorry. We assume are real. I think they're real. Um, what are the compelling ones? Batman Arkham Knight Remaster seems very mm-hmm. random. Like, Destroy Humans 3, it was like, no way. But now, because they're bringing out the remaster for 2 and everything, I'm like, they could, it, it could. could be. It could. Like, when I saw the trailer for Remaster for 2, I was like, oh, this is, is this 3? But then they're like, I started noticing things that I remember. I'm like, oh, okay, this is 2. Yeah, the the one that caught me off guard, I was like, there's, I was, I didn't even think they were even making games anymore. Was Fight for Middle Earth, which would be the Middle Earth series. Yeah. So, like, really? what would this be from? I I don't fight for. It, it, well, it would be. What was the previous one? Shadow of Middle Earth. Um. Well, the there was the Battle for Middle Earth, which was made by EA. Well, no, middle. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Shadow, uh, Shadow of War. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah, this isn't the same thing. Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, and so this wouldn't be part of that. No, I don't think so. I think this would. Mm, I mean, it could, but I don't think so. It seems random for Fight for Middle Earth is in there, True. so I almost want to believe that might be something, but I do not think it's going to be a continuation of the Shadow of War. Um, mm. Because that, because I feel like they're going to keep with that Shadow of. I got you. But maybe. But I don't think so. Um, And then I wanted to bring up, very interestingly, Injustice 3 Gods Will Fall. I can see that one. Interesting that they have a subtitle. If it just said Injustice Mm -hmm. 3, I'd be like, okay, they're Mm -hmm. definitely developing the game. That actually might Mm -hmm. be the title name. That actually like that's might it. be the title name. Now, again, a I lot think... of these are just numbers, so it means nothing. But mm-hmm. that one specifically catches my eye. because I feel sometimes... like I can see that one because of the, the, the show or the, the animated uh, version that they're doing of the, of the first one. Animated movie. Thank you, movie. Sorry, I didn't yep. know if it was a episodic or no, if it was a movie. movie. Yeah, but since they're doing that, maybe it come, it, it, they'll be like, oh, you know, getting ready for people – Making people go back to injustice to to remember to go when they go into three. Yep. Uh, Alex, anything from this list you want to bring up? I it's crazy because it says Modern Warfare three, but that was recently debunked and Activision I, I, said they, they weren't going to do it. Although I was going to say, haven't they done that before? Where like, oh, we're not going to do it, and then they, like a couple years later, they're like, look, we're doing publishers it. Publishers lie to you all the time. I don't know why they wouldn't release it. Why? Why stop at two? It seems weird. And why? And you, you could just you can just remake the campaign and sell it for thirty dollars again. So I mean, it's not I, like it's sold. It's not like it's sold bad because they, if they're scared of them going against their own product i'm like it's not like a just, too sold bad well just do just the other. single player like you did with two because they didn't put yeah. the multiplayer because they were they didn't want you playing the multiplayer for the All other right. game uh mm-hmm. so that's why that achievers just in case you didn't know the reason single player only for modern warfare 2 they didn't want you playing the online they they want you on warzone, warzone. buying the seventeen thousandth gun skin they don't want you on mm-hmm. another game playing that so that's why. Now, if we do see that, again, it's only going to be single player. I don't see why they wouldn't do that, because, again, it doesn't hurt anything to have a single player version of the game out, but who knows? Is it well, weird that Activision I'm actually is really fucking excited? weird. What? Um, is it weird that I'm really excited for Timefall 3? Uh, I don't believe and, that's real. But does, I mean, if it was a thing. I'm saying, but didn't Respawn do them? Do that? Yes. Yeah, Respawn did Timefall. that. So it's weird that it says Untitled Respawn Game yep. and Timefall and 3 Timefall on this 3. list. Why, that's why I'm like, mm, it's probably not real. But mm-hmm. I do. I wouldn't be surprised if Respawn's making another game. I would assume they would. I feel like they would do a game Speaking based of- off the Apex Legend characters, like what League of Legends did with their yeah. side character. Yeah, yeah, like that. Speaking of Titanfall specifically, I'm gonna go over to Twitter.com and okay. look up Respawn. They initially, uh, because it was going around uh, uh, in the rounds of no one is. Um, uh, Respawn is not making Titanfall, and they have no intention mm-hmm. to do it. So Respawn themselves went out and said, um, 
basically never say never. Uh, I'm gonna get their exact quote uh, here, but contrary to what folks, this is um, via their um, actual Twitter page, September 22nd, they tweeted, quote, contrary to what some folks are reporting, Titanfall is the very core of our DNA. Who knows what the future holds? Ellipses. End quote. So, they're intentionally leading you with that tweet. Now, if that is actually true, or if they're just trying not to get bad PR, or if, if it's just some social media manager just going rogue and typing some crap up, who knows? I do think Titanfall, in some capacity, will return... If that's a new game, that's a completely different story. I don't. <sighs> apparently, um, Dragon Dragon's Dogma Two apparently does actually exist due to a leaked Capcom document. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, I apparently there was, that. everybody's that just was waiting leaked. on the roof. Re- apparently, there was just waiting on a reveal. Yeah, and because the the You're document right. revealed the company's release schedule, I completely was- forgot about that document. Yeah, that leaked like a lot of their stuff. So that's mm-hmm. true. That is true. Yeah. We do know the that is real. Window was set for Q two twenty twenty two, but and that in Japan, the fiscal year is from April thirty April to March. So most likely, we'll get Dragon's Dogma twenty twenty three. So, which honestly, now I didn't know about the leak document. Mm. I, I, well, if it's, it was part of that, well, most likely later. I just no, don't know. No, it's, the it's real be. unless it got canceled, and I don't think it, I don't think it will. No, they it they it got its own, an, it's getting its own anime, so they're definitely well, wanting. Did. <laughs> oh, it did? It's out? Dragon's Dogma anime? Yeah. yeah, it's already, it's been out. Oh, okay. I've, Shows yeah, that I pay attention to. Well, um, they're also the database also referenced multiple uh, Sony published titles. This could suggest that they are coming with a uh, PC port at some point. This list starts with God of War 2018, um, Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo 7, Returnal, Demon Souls, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Sackboy, Big Adventure, Ghost of Tsushima. Not shocking with any of that. PlayStation has clearly shown they want to uh, sell more on PC. That means mm-hmm. they're going to have to release more on PC. I can, I very much see all of these coming. We know Uncharted is coming. We know um, for sure Uncharted is coming with the with four and uh, Lost Legacy. The, like, yeah. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if if God of War is the next one. What do you think? I think God of War is the next one. I'm gonna say it. Yeah, yeah. Because out of all that, I think that's the that's the latest. That's excuse me. That's the the the. How would you say? The most relevant because yeah. we're getting the game. No, 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 no. The, like the that's the out of that list. That's the oldest game out of that list. So that has to be the next mm, one. Like so, like they can't do GT Seven yet because that's so it hasn't even come out yet. Forbidden West. Well, is too no, 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 uh, well, was GT Seven? Oh no, that is G- the one coming GT7 out. Sorry, new one. The only thing I could think of that would be next would be Tsushima versus God of War. But like even that, I think that came out after. So God of War has to be the next one because that's the oldest IP on that list. If they're going by that. Of course, but I, I, would I believe would. you. But I believe I yeah. believe that's that's what that's what will come out. I th- I think so. Um, this is a quick one. Brian Horton, which is um like the director. I believe the director. Let me double check this. Creative director, yes. Uh, for the Wolverine game, mm. um, was asked, "Will the game be full sized?" And it will <laughs> be. It will be a full sized, mature toned game, is what he said. Uh, that's a very quick one. Uh, I don't know if any achievers actually wanted to know that, but if you needed I think if to people know, were worried about that. It's going to be like a Morales Morales game, but it's not. It's going to be a full like Spider Man game. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I. I. Yeah. It's gonna. Like See, it's gonna be I got. Like, I got made fun of a little bit on Twitter for this by one Shinobi. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Shinobi. All right. <laughs> what the hell does full size mean? I mean, full size, like, you know, like the 10 first hours? Spider-Man versus Miles Morales. No. Eight, eight hours? 12, 20? 30 hours? What is, full, what is full? We don't have set definitions in the gaming industry. So when I hear full sized, how am I supposed to interpret that? Full size game, I would assume. If you're you saying have... it's Spider Man, that's not true because we know it's not an open world game. So by nature, it's going to be shorter. We know it's not, yeah. We know it's not open world. So, 
So by nature, it's going to be shorter. It's more linear. Did I, did I blow your mind? <laughs> well, uh, because maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I didn't know they said there was going to be it was an open world. Uh, you can read between the lines on how they talk about things. They have not specifically said there will not be an open world in this. I highly doubt you're going to be Wolverine and you're going to be running around in a large box. I just don't think that's going to happen. Are yeah, we going to have big environments to play around in, a la specific levels? Probably. I brought up Last of Us when we were with that one Emmett Watkins Jr. a couple weeks ago. Um, and I brought up, we might have more of a Last of Us type uh, yeah. mission structure where you have a uh, mission where it is a large area and you go run around and you find little collectibles and then other missions are more linear and then you maybe get to another big mission where you get to run around and do more stuff. I do not think you're going to, I'm just going to say Montreal. You're not gonna have Montreal in like open world Wolverine game. Mm -hmm. I think that's a bad idea if you want a Wolverine game. I do not think that is. <sighs> you seem distraught. I'm just wondering if, because <clears throat> then how would they even? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, okay, would you consider? Let's go back to. X Men Origins Wolverine, the 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 older game. Yep. Would would you consider that a full size game? Is that a, is that a full size game to you? Great question. Um, I feel like at this point we're because arguing. If it's not, then it can't be linear. Because that game was very linear. No, oh, no, no. Uh, I think we're getting two things confused here. So when you yeah. ask me that question, is it a full size game? Like like yes. because it's so linear, is that considered is that game a full size game to you? Yeah, like, I don't think I don't think linear and full size mean when how I say full size, it doesn't it doesn't have to mean open world. Okay. It means it's, like how, my point. how long the game is versus like ten hours versus yeah, exactly. 30 hours. Full size my whole point of, of of this is what does full size mean? Nothing. Full size means nothing. What is full I, size I go by game? Hours, mean? Like how long the game is. Me too. Hopefully that's what he did too. Hopefully mm. full size means, okay, this is a 20 hour experience maybe? I don't know. Again, the Spider-Man Miles Morales team is working on this and is due out um, in a couple years. So who knows? Maybe it's 50 bucks and it's the roughly the length of Miles Morales. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's 70 bucks and it's Longer than Spider Man. I don't know. But when I hear full size, that means nothing. So I'm I was very curious to see everyone report on it because I'm like, am I missing something here? What does that mean? And you you, and think, you did get a go ahead. Sorry. Do you think they could do something like what they did with Marvel's Avengers where it's just not it's not open world, but there's an open area and you just go around in those areas? Uh I would I would attribute more to my Last of Us thing. Okay. That I brought up. I, I okay. could see a Last of Us situation where, hey, um, we have to go do this thing. Okay, it's, I don't know, near this farm town. You run over there, and it's a big town. You get to walk around, talk to people, look at some collectibles. Maybe there's a funny comic book on the ground that has a, a saber tooth on it. You know, it's just random stuff like that. Like I could see small. I could see a level being a space to run around and have fun as Wolverine in. Mm -hmm. But it is not going to be, here's Manhattan. Run around, Wolverine, you know? No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that it would be either. The only thing I can think of, and and if, of course, it wouldn't be New York. Um, they would have to do more of the Canada area, and I, the only thing I can think of is if they give him his bike. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> that'd be dope. Deep like if around. you could, you drive like, around. Yeah. That'd be dope. At this point, it's gonna be like Days Gone, but with Hugh Jackman. <laughs> it's not Hugh Jackman, but Days Gone, but with Hugh Jackman. <laughs> um. But no, yeah, I, I agree that um, I think the full size meaning is like how long the game is versus how open. Yeah, so just, just for reference, someone asked, is it a big or Miles Morales sized game? Mm -hmm. He says full size, mature tone yeah. is what he says. Yeah, full I'm size. Just, my my I, only point here is what does that mean? Yeah, I don't know he, what it means. He probably does. 
And see, he didn't say anything about it's bigger than Miles Morales. He didn't say that. No, 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 no. He just said full so size. Yeah, so he doesn't want. He probably doesn't want to say that it's not an open world game because it's probably not. Which and is fine. She, and yeah, and, and I said full size is a hilarious way to describe the length of a game. Shinobi then re- replied, "Taken on its own, yes." But Brian was just answering a question in context, and it, and I was making a joke like, "But what does that?" What does it mean, though? I don't know what it means. I want, I'm just get very curious what Wolverine is. Is it mm-hmm. an eight-hour deep experience where we look at Wolverine, but for a short amount of time, but it's very condensed action um, flowing through? I don't, I don't no think it will. I, I don't, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying as a, an example, is it that? I don't know. Probably not. It's probably going to be bare minimum 20 hours for sure. Um, I don't know. I'm very excited. I can't wait for this fucking, I can't wait for this game. I mean, literally, I can't express to you how perfect these two people are. Insomniac and a Wolverine game? That sounds like you went into my dreams and said, what do you want? And I said, a Wolverine game by Insomniac. And you said, okay, here it is. I mean, literally exactly how it feels. (laughs) Fucking Wolverine is my favorite Marvel character. Yes. Yes. Now, are you excited? And you would hope? Would you hope if they had a Gambit <laughs> cameo? Oh, that'd be dope. Some Gambit love, yes. Very quickly, Nintendo Switch update um, is available and does include the ability to pair Bluetooth devices for audio mm. output. My God, finally! Why? Why? Why so long? After why? how many years now? I mean, Jesus, four years. Why is it so long? Um, this is another quick one by Windows Central. They uh, have a report that there may be cheaper 500 gigabyte Xbox Series X storage devices coming soon. Yep. Um, someone saw a listing for November 14th that there is a 500 gigabyte Xbox uh, Seagate expansion card. Thank so, God. There might be something there. Um, you said, thank God. Yeah, I need one, man. How much would you pay for that? I mean, God, the fucking terabyte one is a is, is two twenty. Yeah, that's, that's oh my God, that's so much. One fifty. I mean, it's, I mean, this okay. Is this thing even an SSD? Yes, it's okay. an expansion card for the Series S and X. So yes, it has to be an SSD. So would you pay one eighty? Or now, which one are you saying well, for the ter- two, for the one terabyte or the five hundred? Five hundred gig, five hundred gig. Two terabytes not gonna be one eighty. Forever, yeah, it's one eighty is still too much for me. Okay. I figured. I just. I, I wanted. I was thinking maybe, honestly, right below one fifty. So it'd have to be one fifty for you to buy a five hundred gigabyte. You said. Yeah, I, I like even that. I'm, I'm like one thirty. I probably will. <laughs> he said one thirty. <laughs> yeah, I can't. It definitely I can't won't be one thirty, but. I know it sucks, but it's... no, it sucks. Hey, M twos are very expensive right now. Yeah. Uh, like if they would make if if they would make a non Seagate one and make it or like a like a WD Elements one or some something like from other che- like they would be like okay you're allowed to make these for a cheaper for, then I'd I'd be it'd be so good but uh, two twenty man I can't I can't it, I can't Alex ugh. hmm you remember the game Detroit Become Human yes I do when you were playing that did you go I wish I was Luke Skywalker right now. No. Too bad. Quantic Dream is now working on a Star Wars game. Interesting. So this is via multiple sources. Um, okay, so uh, I gathered the initial story from Video Games Chronicle, and I just gathered some other uh, things from a couple other sources. Primary resource, of course, Video Games Chronicle. Uh, so according to a French YouTuber, Gauts, he has claimed uh, that the developer is making... Um, a Star Wars game. This is he. Uh, apparently, David Cage just signed a deal with Disney, um, and it's a three game. Uh, and it ended its three game contract with Sony. So he immediately went to Disney to pitch a Star Wars game, and it looks like he got it. This is also corroborated by a games industry insider, Tom Henderson, very very big guy um, in the industry. So I very much trust him even more. I I, I trust this rumor even more now, of course. And um, really, honestly, that's about it. <laughs> uh, we know that they're probably working on a Star Wars game. Everything else is kind of fluff that I found. Uh, someone tried mm-hmm. to get a quote from Luke's Films. It's like, and they're not going to say anything. They said, oh, we're very cool and, and we like working with people. So not important. Basically, that's it. Lucas Films has agreed to work with David Cage to make a Star Wars game. Whatever that is. Very exciting. 
Alex, what do you think? Are you excited at all for this? Um, I, actually, yeah. I mean, I I liked the trip become human. It was it was it was a good storytelling. It was interesting. I liked it too. I liked it too. A bit on the nose near the end there. Um, if you played yeah. the game, you know what I mean. But yeah, I yeah, did enjoy yeah. the game throughout. Uh, the platinum was annoying, so I didn't do it. <laughs> I got like two thirds of the trophies and went. I can't do this anymore, and I quit. So no. Nope. Um. But yeah, I, I, I like the game. I'm curious to see what he does with this franchise. What in the, in the Quantic realm that he makes, right? Quantic Dream kind of games. What is, what is something you'd want to see from that? Because I'm thinking, because it, it, it's story-based, right? It, it, there's not a lot of action in these games. It's a lot of storytelling. So maybe you're like a smuggler. And you're like having to talk your way into in, in want, and out of deals or something. I want a story that we don't know already. You know what I'm saying? You want a like fresh I, story. Like, like I don't want a Luke Skywalker story. I, I don't, don't think want, we. Don't, I don't think we. Like I, I want something like like we just got an Orchid eighty six story like with with um the fallen Jedi Fallen Order. We got that. Um, I want to know maybe between uh between like you know six and seven maybe the like, or i don't know i don't know i want to know what's going on with the like like for, like you said bounty hunters like what's going on with these other people yeah i don't think i need jedis in this be honest with you um because it's not action based just seeing a lightsaber i'm not gonna care uh so mm-hmm. if it's gonna be more a storytelling uh uh experience then i want to be maybe i'm a stormtrooper and i'm walking around and i'm and i and i have a finn like situation where i'm like whoa this is not what i signed up for and i have to like run maybe it's multiple characters because you know generally he does do that so it's like stormtrooper smuggler and i don't know monk character kind of like um i don't remember his name but the monk character from rogue one maybe something like that Maybe we have a rogue one like scenario where like it's the rebels. Who knows? You, you do so, so much Star Wars. What? No, um, you, you the blind monk. blind monk. Oh, the blind one. The blind monk. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember his right. name, but no, it's fine. Um, God, now, now it's fucking with me. Yeah, it's not. Oh, Jesus, you're looking it up now. Um, but but yeah, that's that's what I want to see. Uh, more story based, something slow. I don't, again, I don't need to see lightsabers. Although there's no way we're not seeing a lightsaber in this thing. So, Chirrut. Thank you, Chirrut. I had to give this my uh, my man Donnie Yen plays him, so I had yeah, to. Yeah, Donnie Yen. He's very, very popular. But yeah, oh, hello. That, that's so my good. thoughts, Alex. Anything you want to end? I'm. I mean, uh, I'm hoping that they do good with because uh, Star Wars is it's a one of those very uh, Star Wars is a uh, a topic that people could get very picky. It, yes. Like, oh, oh, that's not in the lore. Like, is, <laughs> is, it, can, is it canon or is mm. it not? Like, is it the pre, is it pre prequels? Is it after? <laughs> Are we like, pre pre prequels? <laughs> like, relax, people. I, I wouldn't on. mind seeing, um, I know I just said I don't oh, want to see prequel, oh. like, 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 like old Republic game. Oh, okay. I, I like to see that, like old Republic, you know, type game to where like, like the start of the council and things like that. That'd be cool. I'm a big fan of Kylo Ren, so I wouldn't mind seeing his, him. I, although we're not, we're, that, that's friend. not going to happen. But I would love to see that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I know I just said I don't want to see Life Savers, but I enjoy that character a lot. Um, maybe mm-hmm. the aftermath with Luke, although I, they might have some issues doing that. Somebody that we don't know a lot about. Yeah, Yoda. yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Let's get some Yoda story in here. How do you like? Where do you come from? I like that Yoda. <laughs> Let's get some Yoda in this thing. Yoda. I want him to do a reactment of episode one, Phantom Menace. Not change a thing. Just as is. And it's just a video game now. Yeah, Alex, the initiative <laughs> that, that is, of course, working on Perfect Dark. You won't believe this. Mm. But is partnering with Crystal okay. Dynamics, Square Enix owned publisher. Or, uh, sorry, owned studio. Um, that's the story. So, Perfect Dark, a game being being made by the Initiative, which is a Microsoft mm-hmm. owned studio, is yeah. tapping Crystal Dynamics to help make the game. Interesting. Very interesting. And I retweeted this saying, "Do we have another situation where a a notable first party studio?" aided 
by a third party giant third party studio and then also publicized it so openly that they're working with this studio now apparently the new i want to say director of the initiative used to be the director of crystal dynamics so so that it kind of explains like how that happened well it's well the mm-hmm. I wonder how this is going to be because maybe they're going to because Crystal Dynamics did all the Tomb Raiders and then recently did Marvel's Avengers. So okay. I'm wondering how the game maybe they're trying to switch up the gameplay because Perfect Dark is very like action shooter maybe some with some puzzling but it's usually first person so I'm wondering and normally they're used to third person style games. Yeah, so a, a lot of people got on Twitter to um, kind of up their nose and be like, why is everyone overreacting? I wanted to be very clear about this. Game, studio, go, the game studios have things called ghost studios. Mm-hmm. If any achiever doesn't know what that is, basically there are studios out there that do work specifically to not appear in credits. That is their job. Mm-hmm. They're called ghost studios. They help you publish games. They help you develop the games. They'll help you do a lot of stuff. They'll do final QAs. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that they can do for and, and to help you out. Ooh, sorry. Head burp. But this is not that situation. This is a very public, very open collaboration to make a video game that is, again, first party. Again, Square Enix third party. I'm not going to sit here and say stuff like this has never happened before, but it would be irresponsible isn't the correct word. It would be um, deflective to go, this happens all the time. It does not. Name me another game that the first party studio tweeted out, we're working with another studio. By the way, it's a major third party like Square Enix. That just does not happen. So this is very interesting, Alex. Also, mm-hmm. terrifying. Why do they need help already? What is going on <laughs> over there? Is it a trash heap? We know the director left uh, the... Was it the main director? Um, design director left and went back to Insomniac and is now working at... Uh, is now working on... I believe he's on Wolverine now. I don't remember, but he left Insomniac. He left for Insomniac. So we know they uh, left the main design director, which is never good. It's never a good sign when your directors are leaving, especially mid project. So I am terrified. Alex, are you worried? I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that, honestly. Because again, this does not happen a lot. I will say it again. Ghost Studios exist, but I have, this specific situation has not happened. I have good feelings from this. Like I feel like I, ha- I have good feelings. I, I just, I just don't know. Like even with the trailer that they released for Perfect Dark, it's like you know how confusing that trailer was. Yeah, I think that was meant for very specific people. <laughs> Yeah, you know what like, I mean? Like, I think that was meant for a very specific Perfect Dark fan base. Because I was looking at it like, cool, Perfect Dark. I think a lot of people were like, yeah, Perfect Dark. And they're just losing their mind. Where mm-hmm. I was like, cool. This is cool. This is Perfect Dark. Nice. Yeah, but. I, was, uh, good I good will. Luck. What? Good luck. <laughs> good luck. That's terrifying. Uh yeah, good. I mean, I I echo Alex. G- good luck. I well, hope it's hard it to bring back. Uh, it, like it's um, it's hard to bring back a very um, loved, I guess, game to like like you know retroish style, not retro style. Um, to what would you call them? You know, it's it's not. I'm not saying it's an old ass game, but it's you know it's older. So like it's 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 interesting to bring it back into the into the generation of like you know like battle royales and shooters and like it's mm. like this game is definitely not one of those mm. i don't know at least that's why i, I don't know mm. do you know the headcount at initiative how many people they have I, honestly initiative. i, I want to say it's le- 
Is it Wait, bad that I want to say it's like real, like like not a lot? Not a lot compared to probably AAA studios. Let's see here. Do we have a head count? Do we have a head count? I don't think we do yet. I don't think we know. I can't see anything. I'm very curious how many people work here because if if they're struggling to get this off the ground with their mm-hmm. manpower, that could be a reason they had to go to Crystal Dynamics. And mm-hmm. go like, hey, we need help making this because we just we aren't able to get enough talent in. Maybe, I don't know. But again, not a good sign when your director's leaving. And also, I feel like this isn't a great sign. Maybe Crystal Dynamics will alleviate some of the pressure where they can kind of expand the resources a little bit better. Who knows? But this yeah. is a little terrifying. Um, we do know Halo Infinite's issue mainly from the inside was. Uh, there were an insane amount of contractors just coming in and out, just constantly coming in and leaving, coming out. Just and all the contractors uh, yeah. are normal on Game Studios. Maybe that lo- uh, the number and level of what Microsoft was using as contracting was a little overkill, possibly. And the initiative has fifteen to fifty employees, or eleven to fifty employees. The initiative. The initiative has eleven through fifteen employees. It's on their LinkedIn. What? I thought so. I thought it was gonna be less than no fifty. Fuck that's what I thought. Way. What? Yeah. Yeah. When I was like, that's why I was like, it's not a lot, but I, like I didn't want to say it. But yeah, I thought it was like less than fifty. I have yep. to see this, achievers. Did you know and didn't tell us? Did you know and didn't tell us, achievers? This is wild. If that's true. Which again, if it's on LinkedIn, I don't see why it wouldn't be true. Yeah, and maybe it hasn't been updated, but that can't. I mean, they're supposed to be making quadruple A, you know, whatever studios. So that's kind of surprising that they have so many little people. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That is very, very shocking to see. Mm-hmm. Very shocking. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god, I'm a little worried, but time will tell. And see now on the on the co- it says and see it says company size was that, but then right next to it it says view all seventy employees. So then uh, like maybe there's... I know they're rapidly hiring. I know that. Yeah. I know they've been trying to staff for a long time. You want to hire um, me? Clearly, what? <laughs> clearly, <laughs> they're not doing that well. Yeah. Uh, because. I mean, if you're making quadruple A, again, I'm doing this in, in air quotes, whatever that means, then you need to have double, right? Double that easily if you're going to be making it in a timely manner. But we'll see. Xbox Game Pass for the month. Flynn, son of... Sorry. Chrism. I can't see it. Cloud console and PC, ID at Xbox, September 15th. This is available day one. Flynn, son of Crimson, there we go, is a handcrafted 2D action platformer that will take players on a journey of discovery and conflict. Join Flynn and his mythical companion, Dex, to save Prosantica from the Scourge. Discover and master the power of Crimson Energy to stop the evil overlord, Zelok. I am Fish, Cloud console and PC, another ID at Xbox already out available day one with by the way these are these are older because we had to skip last week's to do a spoiler cast Uh, i am fish is a charming physics-based adventure game starring four intrepid fish friends forcibly separated from their home in a pet shop fish tank swim fly roll and chomp your way to an open ocean in a bid for freedom and to reunite once again skatebird cloud console pc id at xbox already out this is also available day one on game pass you're a lonely little skateboarding bird and your big friend has hung up their board for good their job sucks, and lately, they're barely ever home to play with you. Oh, God, this is getting really sad. You're going to fix all that with the power of skateboarding. Above all else, skatebirds try their best. <laughs> Super limpable cloud console PC ID at Xbox already out. Percep- perception is reality in this mind-bending first-person puzzle. You escape your own dream by tackling impossible puzzles based on perspective and optical illusions. Think outside the box and expect the unexpected. Oh, that game was trippy, man. 
Aragami, cloud console PC ID at Xbox already out, available day one. Aragami emerged as a clan to defend their own, utilizing the shadow to avail their cause. Aragami 2 takes the franchise to new levels of stealth, skill-based combat, and a gripping narrative that can be experienced in solo or with friends as a co-op stealth action adventure. Lost Words, Beyond the Page, Cloud Console BC, September 23rd, winner of over a dozen awards. Lost Words is an atmospheric narrative adventure that takes place in their personal diary entries belonging to a young girl named Izzy. Unfold the pages and explore the fantasy land of Astoria, a place where words hold immense power. I might try this out. This sounds kind of cool. Sable is now out. Cloud Console PC ID at Xbox. Available day one. Embark on the unforgettable journey and guide Sable through her glass. I uh, forgot to space it. Sable, Sable, Sable through her gliding, a rite of passage that will take her across stunning deserts and ancient wonders. Explore a rich world by hover bike, solve puzzles, climb great heights, get to know the inhabitants, discover who Sable is beneath the mask. What's up with them forgetting? That's two spaces they forgot. What's up with that? Subnautica below zero cloud console PC ID at Xbox out by uh, as of listening. Dive into a freezing underwater adventure on an alien planet set two years after the original Subnautica. Return to planet. Four, five, four, six B to uncover the truth behind a deadly cover up. Survive by building in habit- habitats, crafting tools, and diving deeper into this captivating universe. Tainted Grail Conquest PC at eight Xbox already out. Explore the ever changing maps, fight with deadly enemies, and learn what happened to the cursed island of Avalon in this unique, infinitely replayable, story driven hybrid between a deck building roguelike and an RPG game. Create your own combos out of hundreds of cards and learn how to survive in a dark, unforgiving world surrounded by a mysterious, deadly force known as the Wordness. Liminous Gate, September 28th, Cloud Console and PC, available day one with Game Pass. Harness the abilities of powerful operatives and mind-bending 4D battles as you disrupt the past to change the future. Liminous Gate liberates you from the crunch of time to offer a relentless, inventive multiplayer experience deeply rooted in tactical FPS gameplay. Exploit the unlimited intricacies of time travel and forge your path to victory. Astria Ascending, Cloud Console and PC, September 30th. Available day one on Gay Pass. Explore a vast world on the brink of chaos in a mature, emotional JRPG rendered in glorious 4K hand drawn visuals. Customize your characters with expansive customization and lead the eight demigods of Orcanon to battle and rewarding turn based combat to protect the harmony. Alex, that's coming to Game Pass. We thought we had to buy that. I didn't even even know. Unsighted console and PC ID at Xbox September 30th. Available also day one Game Pass. The few androids that remain are running out of anima, the energy that gives all robots consciousness. It's up to you, Alma, to save your friends from beginning unsighted. Explore the vast ruins of Arcadia using every tool you can find. Time is ticking. They need you. Alma from Fear? Yes. Phoenix Point console ID at Xbox October 1st. A mutating alien menace threatens the last remnants of mankind on an earth ravaged by the (laughs) Pandora virus and it's up to the Phoenix Project to take the planet back for humanity. Turn-based strategy hit Phoenix Point includes optimization and changes designed specifically for the Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. I have to look up this game. That is everything. Um, I will, as always, quickly go over what is leaving us September 30th. Be sure to either get your 20% discount on these games or finish up the last little bits you might have left. Drake Hollow Cloud Console PC, Eichenfell Cloud Console PC, Night in the Woods Cloud Console and PC, Kathy Rain PC, Warhammer Vermintide 2 Cloud and Console. Those are all leaving September 30th. So either finish them or snag that 20% off discount before it leaves. Excuse me. Alex. That is the new O's for the week. Now, normally I ask what you have queued up. Now, I know exactly what you have queued up. And that is one you know. Halo Infinite Flight. We were invited. We were informed via email in the night of nights, in the depths of darkness. The we were told that we are going to go finish the fight this weekend, starting September 24th at, I want to say, 1 p.m. Eastern. We will be able to jump and grab an assault rifle and run around and pretend we're Spartans. Alex, mm. are you going to come finish the fight? 
I mean, I thought I finished a fight in Halo 3. You didn't. It, clearly, mm. you didn't. It's still going. Mm. Halo Infinite yes. multiplayer is something I am anxiously looking forward to. Yeah, I just looked anxiously. at Halo, uh, Halo Insider and the, the Steam one is up here now, too, if you want your code for that, too. Thank you. Alex, very quickly... Mm. What do you think the achievers want to hear from us? Maybe we play one day and then we come back to them Saturday with uh, our thoughts. Achievers, if you're, if, you're, if you're listening to this early, let us know. What, how would you like an impressions video? My, I'm thinking after Saturday? Mm, or maybe we wait till it's over. I don't know. Very quickly. No. Or do they... Mm, no, no. I was thinking... Well, do they want to see us play it? Hmm. That's an option. Since uh, now that I figured out that you can actually, you know, stream, stream via on the Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Yes. yes. And yeah. I don't have to worry about, you know, my PC. craziness. Yeah, my craziness of the PC. Yeah. We can. And together, too. Yeah, we definitely could. I'm very excited to play with you. Now, aside from plans for content. Yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, this first week is 4v4 arenas, correct? I can look it up. I'm pretty sure it is. And then next week is big team battles. Pretty sure. Regardless, I'm very excited. Cannot wait. And um, apparently if we do 10 battles, we'll get a special emblem, which I'm also excited for. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Very excited for that. Alex is checking the status of the Halo Infinite. Remember youtube.com slash achievers to support us you can subscribe to our page and hit that little notification bell that basically sends you an email or a notification through the app itself when we send out videos now i know you're asking yourself isn't that what i subscribed to you for back in the day yes that was true you subscribed and you got the fi- fi- uh, videos in your feed most people are subscribed to too many things to actually see the videos when they're posted because it's free, a lot of people subscribe to a lot of stuff. For instance, me, I'm subscribed to, I think, over 60 channels or something like that. Yeah. Way too much stuff. So what you do is you hit the notification bell. That tells you when we upload. Then you're able to watch the video. Helps the algorithm. You get to like the video early, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Leave a nice comment. You can compliment me on my hair. Some things of that nature. Boost my ego even more. Bet you, bet you thought I couldn't get any higher. But I can. Alex, yeah, have, well, you, have well, you found well, it yet? Are, dude, man, it took forever to find it. <laughs> okay. For this month's preparing for upcoming, yeah, we'll make Arena 4v4 and the big team battle 12v12, awesome. yes. All right. Yes. I just want to make sure for the achievers. So yeah. I hope I hope I, we see I you on the into the forums, man. <laughs> Jesus. I hope we all see you on the battlefield. I hope we see some achievers out in the wild playing Halo Infinite's flight. Let us know what you thought. We'll be letting you know as soon as we think it is most valuable. We possibly will wait until it's com- fully complete before making a video. Who knows? We will have a video for you, though. And we'll also have a death loop discussion as well, eventually. I think downloading right now. So. Yep, I will go download mine right after locking off. What have y'all have queued up for the week? Is it the Halo Infinite? Did you not get in this time? Which is fine. Of course, December is right around the corner. Do you have a good book, a good comic book, something of that nature that you're excited for for the weekend? Maybe a TV show or a movie? Let us know in the comments below or tweet at us at EVM9000 at Curvy Subscater. But until we see each other next, go Chief. Go Chief.